so I've got myself a ceramic plate here I'm gonna use as my surface. Thank you to Two Reels Azul for that suggestion. He said, you know, uh, he recommended I didn't use polypropylene at all as a surface. I'm actually not afraid of that. It's chemically resistant, so what do I have to lose? But I think a glass or ceramic plate is a much better surface than a thin polypropylene film uh, to protect my desk from these solvents. So, uh, this heptane here. So anyways, I'm going to use that suggestion from now on. Thank you for that. And uh, I'm doing this video just so you guys know because Humphelbert, another one of my subscribers, asked a rock solid question yesterday. After you get the stamp off the paper, doesn't it stick to everything? And that is absolutely true. It totally does. That's one of the big problems with self-adhesive postage, postage stamps is um, they stick to anything. You know, if you're going to put them in an album or oh, look at that one, it's just popping right off. If you put them in an album or uh, in a glassine, oh my gosh, this one came off like total butter. It's usually not that easy, you guys. Um, wow, that was easy. That one just worked like a, like a dream. Holy moly. Love heptane for this. It's fantastic. Don't expect them all to go that easy. That was actually lucky. Um, I'm actually even surprised at how easy that came off. That was great. But uh, yeah, they stick to everything, you know, being self-adhesive. Oops, they're sticking to my plate. So, um... This is what I saw some other guy do on the internet, and um, so this is the best method that I have seen to date. I am not uh, some self-adhesive postage stamp master or anything, but basically you, you soak it off of your paper, and once you've got it off, let it dry for a sec, right? You can still see it's kind of wet around the borders a little bit. Um, but give it a little blow it takes it a sec you don't have to wait for it to completely dry and then stick it to your polypropylene and I like to start when I use these bags um, I like to start right in the corner and I'm going to leave a small margin around the stamp of polypropylene and just stick it right to the polypropylene and get it down on there with your fingers and then uh, literally cut it out and uh, so anyways you got to be careful Let me close my solvent up good advice so uh, you got to be careful not to cut the stamp of course the whole point is to preserve these things and uh, I have just a chat I've seen people use talcum powder uh, to put on the gum to make it non-stick so you can put it in your album or whatever. I don't really like that, uh, personally. I, I This is my favorite method that I have seen, and there's a few reasons why. Let me focus real quick. Cut this out of here. Beautiful. So, for one thing, if you stick it on polypropylene, you know, um, you don't have the mess of the talcum powder. <coughs> and, um, the backing is crystal clear, so you can see the back of the stamp, you know. Uh, I, I like that. It it just makes sense to me to do it like this. Nice and non-stick. The polypropylene is archival safe, so it's not going to damage the stamp in the long run. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Instead of leaving it on the paper, which is what a lot of people do, they just simply cut a thin margin around the stamp and leave it on paper. Uh, for these self-adhesives, oh, there's still some gum on the paper there. <clears throat> um, you know, then put it in their album. That way they don't damage the stamp. I'm not against that whatsoever, you know, just kind of cutting it out of the paper. Honestly, that's okay. Um, that way you don't even risk damaging the stamp by doing any of this, you know, because um, it, it'll happen. And um, but I, I found a gentleman that did this and... Uh, I thought this was the best method that I have seen, you know. Uh, stamps came off just fine, really, really easily, thank God. And um, yeah, just stick it right on some propylene, boom, done deal. I mean, now it's non-stick, it's see-through, it's clear. Um, you put it in your album, stock book, whatever you want to do. You've got yourself a nice, used, self-adhesive postage stamp, uh, safely removed 
and ready to go into your album. So anyway, I love that method and I just wanted to share real quick. Now I do also want to mention, you know, if you don't have these um, big polypropylene bags, um, which I do recommend getting them, I mean, they're dirt cheap guys, you get a whole bunch of them for cheap. <laughs> Uh, the guy that I learned this method from on his video, uh, he actually was sticking them to used stock cards instead of these bags. He'd remove the stamp, stick it right on top of a stock card, right? And then he would just cut it out of the stock card and end up with the same exact result. If I'm not mistaken, the clear plastic surface on these stock cards is polypropylene. So, um... And you, you know, whether it is or isn't, I can't say like 100% for sure, but I will tell you, we obviously know whatever the clear plastic on these cards is, it's archival safe. So, um, you know, you don't have to worry about it. So if you don't have the polypropylene bags, feel free. You know, if you have a bunch of used stock cards laying around, use this. And he said he would stick a whole bunch of stamps and cover each card. And he would do that to multiple cards and then just go and cut them out. Uh, and end up with literally the same exact result. So this may not be for everybody, but this is my favorite method. This is what um, you know I currently use as uh, to, to 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 handle the problem of self adhesive stamps being sticky on the back. I also want to mention just a couple more reasons that I do like this method. Is one is uh, you don't even have to bother removing the gum on the back because uh, you, just like uh, Graham Beck on Exploring Stamps channel has uh, made a video on this, um, removing the gum on the back, scraping it off, you can definitely damage stamps uh, while trying to do that. So uh, I find it easier and more advantageous to just simply leave the gum on the back. Uh, so you don't even have to do that. You can just skip that whole part of things. Uh, and then also, by the way, another reason I like this polypropylene stuff if you wanted, you can easily remove the polypropylene backing. You just peel it right off, okay? So that's another reason that I like this method as well. So that does it for this video. I hope that this helps somebody. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let me know if you have any advice or comments or uh, criticisms on this, but uh, this is my favorite so far. So thank you for watching. Take care, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.